The following video is sponsored by InstantMaddenCoins.com. The only place to get Madden coins instantly on every console and platform is InstantMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. The offensive positional hero sets hit today on the market. And guys, you guys can see them here. We have a whole bunch of new great players that were added. Somewhere between 95 to 97 overall for each and every one of these players. Actually, I think all of them are 96 or above overall. So there's a lot of controversy about these today, guys, because a lot of people are saying that there's some real disappointments in here. Other people are saying there's some really good cards. But what I want to do today is take a look at what I believe are the best of the whole grouping of the offensive players. So in today's video, what I'm going to do is count down my top five of the offensive positional heroes. I want to hear your guys' comments, though, in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think, and let's start off with number five. Starting off today's video, we have at number five, yes, a kicker. Adam Vinatieri, 99 overall. This is currently, in my opinion, the best kicker in the game, and the reason for it is not even necessarily because he has all of the best attributes. He does have really good attributes, but the fact that he has a 93 kick power, it's not spectacular. There will be definitely better kickers that come out this year as far as kick power goes, but he does actually have nice kick accuracy at a 96. Now, I have not done testing. Some people say that the accuracy, the kick meter does change depending on the accuracy uh, level that you have. However, the big reason that this card is great is because of the two chemistries that it has. It has the clutch kicker chemistry, which means it absolutely cannot be iced. And secondly, it has what I believe to be one of the best chemistries in the game, the focused kicker chemistry, which slows down your kick meter to the pro speed. So this is something that is actually a big advantage, especially if you're playing online and you have a little bit of lag. You can definitely do a much better kick if you have that focused kicker chemistry. So that's why I really like this Adam Vinatieri. It's actually currently going for right now at 360000 at the time of me making this video, which is Friday evening. So, yeah, not a bad price on this if you're looking for a kicker. Now, obviously, it, it depends, of course, if you've got the coins to spend. But if you're looking for a kicker, this is, in my opinion, the best kicker because of those two chemistries and the fact that he has good attributes as well. So there you have it. Number five, yes, a kicker, Adam Vinatieri. Up next, we have a center, and that is Dallas Cowboys center Travis Frederick. Now, I'm not somebody who typically would invest in center, and uh, that's just my personal opinion. I think that it's the least important position on the offensive line. Now, in real life, it's obviously one of the most important positions, but in Madden, most of the time your center is going to be helping out another player on the offensive line, so their attributes really get kind of neglected, uh, or negated, I should say, depending on exactly what they're doing. But this card does have pretty damn good attributes. First of all, it is the best overall in terms of the overall attribute. It is the highest at a 96. It's actually also the highest in a couple other things. Most importantly, 95 run blocking. That makes it the best run blocking center in the game. So if you're somebody who runs a lot of inside zones, if you run some dives, uh, things like that, draw plays even, this Travis Frederick is a really, really nice card for that spe specific reason. Now, it's solid in pass blocking with a 91. I wouldn't say it's over the top as far as like amazing goes, but it's, in my opinion, still the best center that's currently in the game. So that's why I that, that I decided to put it at number four here. I do think it's a really good card. Again, center, not my most important position, but in terms of attributes and things like that, this is definitely the best center in the game right now. So that's why he's at number four on the list. At number three, we have a 97 overall left tackle, Joe Thomas, who just continues to get it done year after year after year, even when he's playing on a terrible team like the Browns. Joe Thomas is still an absolute beast. Now, he is a 97 overall, like I said, which means that he is tied for the second best overall left tackle that's currently in the game. Now, he is very, very good pretty much across the board in attributes. 
The best thing that he has is his 95 pass block. He is solid in run protection as well with a 90, but he's not over the top amazing in that attribute. So again, I do think that Joe Thomas is very, very good. Again, best pass blocking left tackle that's currently in the game. He's run blocking solid, but that does make him, you know, still a very, very good card. Now, the reason that he's not number three, or that he's not number two, excuse me, and he is number three, is that his price is pretty high here at six hundred and what thirty-five thousand for the cheapest one at the moment, and the fact that he plays left tackle. So there's a lot better competition at left tackle than there is at our number two, which we'll see here in just a moment. At number two, we have a guy who is actually one overall lower than the left tackle that we just showed, and that is Brian Bulaga of the Green Bay Packers. He is a right tackle. Now, this card here, the reason that I have it at number two on the list is because, again, he plays right tackle. Now, right tackle is often one of the most neglected positions in the NFL. It's also one of the most neglected positions here in Madden. So if you take a look at Ultimate Team, you're not going to see a lot of competition. Where Joe Thomas was the second best overall left tackle at a 97, Brian Bulaga is actually the highest overall right tackle at just a 96. So that means that he's a lot better for his specific position. Now, if you take a look at his attributes here, he is decent in run blocking only at an 89. That is not great. However, he is the best pass blocking right tackle in the game at a 95. That's why I like this card a lot. It is very, very nice for that. If you have the coins to spend, if you can go up and spend the 400,000 or so coins that it's going to cost you to get this Brian Bulaga, I would recommend it. Again, it is currently the best right tackle in the game, and that's why it's number two on the list. And last but not least, in my opinion, the best positional hero offensive player, that is Jordan Reed of the Washington Redskins. Now, guys, this is far and away, in my opinion, the best tight end in the game. And that's why I have him all the way up at number one. Now, tight end, for a lot of people, is not the most important position in the game. I understand that. But if you're comparing him to the other tight ends that are currently in the game, I don't even really think it's close right now. First of all, he's three overall higher than the next best tight end in the game. He is a 97 overall. That's three overall higher than the next best, which is Ghost Dallas Clark. And he is also by far the fastest tight end in the game. He has plus two speed higher than any other tight end in the game at a 90 speed. And he's also plus one acceleration faster than any other tight end in the, end the game at a 92. So those two things, combined with the fact that he has so many other great attributes here, I mean, this card is an absolute beast pretty much across the board. He's second best in catching at a 94, tied for the best in route running at a 95, tied for third best in catching traffic at a 93, and he has the best agility of any tight end at a 91. So pretty much, again, across the board, this is a really, really nice tight end card. Now, if you take a look at his blocking, he's not amazing by any means. He's only a 77 in run blocking, and uh, if you were to set him in pass blocking, he's not particularly great there either. But still, this card is very, very good, and its price is definitely reflecting it. This is a difficult one to get. 1.35 million coins right now to purchase this card. I have seen it go for a little bit cheaper than that. But this is kind of the price that it's currently going at right now, and it makes sense. It is, again, by far and away the best tight end currently in the game, and that's why I believe it is the number one best positional hero on the offensive side of the ball. So that is going to do it for this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure that you drop a like on the video. Hopefully you guys will uh, continue to support me with my videos here. I'm, I'm really enjoying doing these types of videos, a little bit more analytical than just, you know, breaking down games and, and uh, you know, trying to give you guys gameplay and things like that like everybody else does. So hopefully you guys enjoy this style of video. If you do, let me know in the comments section below. If you don't, eh. I'm probably still going to do it. I'm not going to lie. But let me know in the comment section below anyway, guys. Thanks again for all the support. Hope you enjoyed it. Drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.